Well, a very good evening to you all. First hymn we had tonight was Thy Strong Word Did Cleave the Darkness At Thy Speaking It Was Done. We've had this tune to more words than I can possibly remember. As Eileen has just said in the chat, this also goes to Oh, the Deep, Deep Love of Jesus. Tune is Ebenezer. <clears throat> However, tonight it was requested by Brady Kilman who said, I want to hear this hymn at full organ. It's a great hymn. So Brody, that pretty much was, pretty much was full organ. So very good evening to you all. Thank you very much for joining me last night for my live organ recital here on Beauty and Sound. It was great to have you with me and great to play the Romsey Abbey organ um, for the first time in concert, the Romsey Abbey sample set. Let's go on to our second hymn tonight, which is um, much um, more reflective, I suppose, hymn than that one. It's one of the great hymns. It's one of the, um, it's, uh, often gets voted into, um, you know, the top 10 hymns of all time. And it is a paraphrase on uh, Psalm 23, if that helps. <laughs> um, and of course, it is. The Lord's my shepherd, I shall not want. Requested uh, tonight by Jerry Hall. Let me just find it. Uh, uh, uh. That's, a bit, that's a bit idiotic, Mr. iPad. Searching for the tune name, no results. Searching for the title, no results. But yeah, it's there. It is, of course, the Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me down to lie in pastures green. He leadeth me the quiet waters by. And Jerry Hall says, I used to think this hymn was somewhat uninspiring. Then I listened to it more and realised there's a lot um, to be gained from the music. I think it was the messed up words of the 23rd Psalm that's turned me off things. But now I find I quite like them. Yes, well, the words have been um, put into a meter. Um, that's what basically that means. So it's, they're not the uh, original words, whatever, whatever the original words are. These have been um, put into a, a common meter. So, the Lord's my shepherd to the tune Crimmond for Jerry Hall.
course. It's a very positive ending, isn't it? Verse 5, goodness and mercy all my life shall surely follow me. And in God's house forevermore my dwelling place shall be. That's a very positive thought, isn't it? So a positive thought needs to end on a positive note in terms of registration and volume. Some thank yous in the chat now. Um, uh, uh, oh, Jerry, thank you very much for your ice cube. Yes, let's get the ice cube started. Thank you very much for uh, getting the ice dispenser uh, going. I was say getting it warmed up, but getting an ice, an ice cube dispenser warmed up probably isn't the best idea, is it? You know what I mean. And Jerry Hall, it was a pleasure playing your hymn. And thank you for your $50. Thank you, Richard, for doing such an amazing job on this tune. You're very welcome, Jerry and Jerry. <laughs> okay, let's um, now go into our third hymn, uh, which is, I was looking um, at what hymns were um, on hymnary uh, earlier on, um, which hymns were suggested um, today. And it's actually a really good resource, hymnary.org, uh, for hymns which are appropriate for uh, today's reading, uh, today's gospel, and the, the, the theme of, you know, today. And actually there's quite a, some really nice hymns suggested, including this one. This is a tune that I think we all know. It's Holy God, uh, We Praise Your Name. Um, however, different words. Listen to these words. Do you know these words? Give me a thumbs up if you do. Come sinners to the gospel feast. Let every soul be Jesus' guest. Ye need not one be left behind, for God hath bid all humankind. You know that one? Thumbs up if you, if you know those words. So we'll have this one. Gorgeous, gorgeous tune. And, and I will associate this hymn, this tune, forevermore with a, um, a series which appeared on Netflix earlier this year called Midnight Mass. Rather extraordinary um, series, to say the least. Thank you very much, uh, Wayne. We'll, um, could you, uh, we'll capture that. Uh, yeah, we'll capture that. Um, our uh, producer tonight is, I think, uh, yes, Josh who is wearing his hoodie. Josh reminded me that it's hoodie season, hence the reason why I'm wearing my hoodie. Quick plug if you want to go and um, purchase a BIS hoodie with the old Organist 8 on the back. And if you want to be the coolest organist in town, you can head over to beautyandsound.co.uk to buy one. Actually feeling rather warm in here, but the things I do for you. So, come sinners to the gospel feast. I'm waiting for those thumbs up if you know these words. If not, go and check them out online. Or just sing the other words, Holy God, we praise thy name.
beautiful tune, isn't it? There's no reason, it's no surprise that that tune is one of the greatest well-known and loved hymns, I think, in the entire world. It's a beautiful, and I wish it was performed and sung more here in England. You know, here in England, we actually, uh, I know this now because you've introduced me to so many hymns. Here in England, we just don't sing all of the great hymns that are out there. We ought to. We should, we should, we should start a movement. <laughs> don't know what it's called. Uh, anyway, so the next hymn we're going to have is another one that came recommended on hymnary.org. So these two are my, my requests. Um, and it's, uh, my hope is built on nothing less. Let me just uh, find it up on the iPad here. Uh, my hope, there it is. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. Tune here is called Solid Rock, because the refrain goes, On Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Well, you know what they say about, um, about sand, don't you? Don't build your house on sand, whatever you do. However, Hugo, on the other hand, he'd love to build a house on sand because he loves being in the sand pit. And when we pick him up from nursery, we always know that he's been in the sand pit because his shoes are absolutely full of sand. Take them off, just pour them upside down. It's definitely one of those nights where Hugo needs a shower, if, a bath, sorry, if he's been in the sand pit. In his hair, it gets everywhere. Okay, so my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. That's a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs>
<laughs> isn't it fun? It's a fun one, that, isn't it? It's really fun. Oh, Eleanor Jean! Yay! That's, that's a good look, isn't it? Your favourite hymn. Well, thank you very much for your... $19.99. But a detective in me notices that you spell favourite the correct way, with the U. So that would be the English spelling. Ooh, are you in England or are you over in America? But anyway, thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. Uh, okay, Benjamin Yao is up next. And Benjamin Yao says that um, he has to give himself a face palm uh, because he made a request for last week, uh, but then didn't bother sending it through. <laughs> so Benjamin, if you're going to make a request, you've got to simply make it the request in the first place. So we'll make sure we play it right now for you, my friend. It is, um, there is a place of quiet rest. Let me just find it. There is a place. Uh, eh. Do you know what? The iPad search feature is absolutely useless. It doesn't work. Unless I've not put it in the iPad. There is a place, is it? I did save it because I was going to say something about the um, about the name of the tune. The tune is called McCafe. Oh, it's not even finding that. What are you doing to me? Bear with me, guys, please. I'll be th I'll be there in a in a very very quick moment. Why isn't it there? It is there? What? Look, it's here. I was searching for it and everything. I typed in the the, the first name, typed in the title of the tune. It didn't come up. Letting me down. I've got people waiting to hear that this hymn, particularly Benjamin, is waiting patiently. The good news is this hymn, this scan, has the refrain on it. And long-term listeners of uh, Virtual Church will know that we have form here to miss the refrain. <laughs> uh, Andrew Luce says something is in five flats. Well, th um, that was in five flats years ago. Well, this is in five flats as well, D-flat major. There is a place of quiet rest near to the heart of God, a place where sin cannot molest near to the heart of God. And here's the refrain, O oh, Jesus, blessed Redeemer, sent from the heart of God, hold us who wait before thee. There's an interesting chord on thee. Near to the heart of God. So let's have a goo. Let's, let's bring out the clarinet, my, one of my favourite stops on this wonderful organ. It's such a really f fat and round sound. I can't wait to play it. Let's get the um, eight and four flutes on the great prepared. And this is what this hymn sounds like. I'll play it again, but with some G flats this time. It did sound a bit weird, that didn't it? I'll I'll play it in the correct key. Nothing to see here. Move along.
It says at the bottom of the page here, a Presbyterian campus pastor and choir director in Missouri wrote this simple but moving hymn in response to the death of two young nieces from diphtheria. By distilling such personal grief into the shared assurances of faith, these words have brought comfort to many. It's a very nice hymn, very nice tune. And just, um, actually those, those chords were not overly strange or whatever word it was I used, but they were rather perfect. So the tune is called McCafe, as in the antivirus software. I uh, don't think it was written, the, the tune was, was written by John. <laughs> is that his name? I think it's John McCafe, isn't it? Um, but anyway, thank you very much, Benjamin Yao. Another hit, um, another hit. You always send in really nice tunes. Next up, getting through them tonight, aren't we? This is our uh, sixth hymn tonight in just a half an hour. So not much waffle tonight. Depth of mercy. Can there be mercy still served for me? Can my God his wrath forbear? Me, the chief of sinners, spare. Does anyone know these words? These are words by Charles Wesley. The great Charles Wesley, but not words that I know. So a really familiar author, but unfamiliar words. The tune is called Seymour. And I'll solo it out, shall I? Yes, I shall. Rhetorical question. <laughs> uh, let's get the, that and that. Let's get that and that, that and that. So give me a thumbs up if you know this Very simple and very short. Lots of seventh chords, aren't there? Um, and then, um, a tune um, was by, uh, I don't know actually. It says, arranged from Carl M. von Weber. Um, 18th century by Henry W. Uh, Great Oryx, 19th century. 
Anyway, so that was fun. Okay, let's go on now to our next hymn, which is a well-known one. You'll be relieved to hear. That's gorgeous. Another sort of reflective one, though. And another paraphrase on Psalm 23. Which one could it be? So we've had the Lord's my shepherd. What's the next best popular paraphrase on Psalm 23? I'll leave it to you, and I'll just pull out some stops, see if anyone in the chat gets it. Oh, Andrew! I'll give you, I will give you half a point for that, Andrew Luce. Andrew Luce says, Dominus Regit Men. Now, that's the other tune. Yes. So, um, it actually, I'm going to play um, St. Columba, okay? The king of love my shepherd is, whose goodness faileth never. I nothing lack if I am his, and he is mine forever. Yes, I, I think, I, I don't know which tune I prefer. Maybe we should have a vote. Should we have a vote? Have I got the other tune to hand? Nah. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. We like having votes, don't we? Um, in the NEH, is it 437? No, it's not. Um, what is it? We'll have a little vote. So the king of love, my shepherd, is... Where is it in here? Uh, oh, I said 437, didn't I? Do you know what the hymn it is? It's 457. Come on. You've got to give me some respect for that. I'll play both of these tunes, and we'll have a, uh, we'll have a, little, we'll have a little vote. Okay, so... Let's just keep it interesting. So, um, the king... Oh, I'm typing a message. That's no good. Let's do Sars of Paul. Um, the king of love tune. And then I'm going to put number one, St. Carl Umba. And number two is, what is it? Dom Enos Regit Me. And you can vote. I'll, I'll play them both, okay? And um, we'll see which one's the most popular. So we've got six verses to vote for your favourite tune, for these uh, very, very familiar words. I think both tunes are equally popular. So this will be a, a, this will be a really interesting vote. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll get on with it.
Yes, as Gregory has just said, it's a difficult one. So, which one did you prefer? I played them in the order of the vote. So, the first one, uh, St. Columbia. Which is a bit more reflective, really, isn't it? And then the second one, Dominus Regi Temer, is this one. Which feels a bit more... Um, lively, somehow. G major is a brighter key than E flat. So, had 60 votes so far. There are 200 and between 200 and nearly 250 50 people watching. Only 64 of you have voted. 65, I'm going to give it 10 more seconds. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so. Where's the, where's the, I'll just find the next hint, give, give me a few more seconds, there. Okay. Let me end the vote. End the poll. Oh my goodness! That was close, wasn't it? Just a split second before I pressed end vote, it was 49, 51. There was a vote like that recently in this country. Anyway, let's not get into that. So, in first place there, Dominus Regit Mayer, 52% against St. Columba, uh, 47%. Well, there we go. Only 84 votes. So, you've got to turn out to vote. You've got to turn out to have a say. <laughs> okay, so next request. I like those, those polls. They're fun, aren't they? Next request is uh, from Daniel Kubaki who simply says, I love the tune, A Great Lent Hymn. Well, what is The Great Lent Hymn? It is, alas, and did my saviour bleed? And did my sovereign die? Would he devote that sacred head for someone such as I? And the refrain is, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith, I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. So we've got a couple more uh, pre-requests, and then we have our top five tonight. I haven't had a top five for a few weeks, and then we're going to go into our live requests. So if you want to make any live requests tonight, if you want to influence how tonight's stream is going to go, make it a bit more upbeat, you can suggest some corkers. Or you can re request some reflective ones. So you could request, praise my soul, the king of heaven. You could request Jerusalem. You could request the American national anthem. You could request anything you want. Just pop it in the chat as a super chat for any amount you want. Any amount. And, um, and I'll play it. Keith Bolton, I, I'm with you. 84 votes for 200 and 42 watching at that time. I think a lot of people watching aren't subscribed because I you can only vote and you can only chat if you are subscribed. I think people don't subscribe for some reason, just just um, watch the channel without subscribing. If you haven't subscribed and you want to subscribe, it's entirely free. You can go onto the my channel's web main page, click the subscribe button, it doesn't cost you a penny to subscribe, and then you can chat. And then you can, more importantly, you can vote in the polls. So let's have a listen to this, um, this, hear, this hear him. This hear him. Alas, did my saviour bleed. As requested by a good friend and long-term listener, very, very long-term listener, Daniel Kubaki.
Thank you very much, Daniel, for requesting that one. So, alas, and, and did my saviour bleed, and did my sovereign die, if you want to check it out. Tune is called Hudson, I believe. Okay, just a couple more to go before we get, get into our top five tonight. Um, and the next one is... Ugh. Need to have a word to my iPad. It's not behaving like it should do. The next one is Saviour, like a shepherd, leaders. To the tune Bradbury. Another hymn in five flats. You must make sure that I play the G flat this time. This is one that I found on hymnary.org. It's, it's been suggested today um, to do with the readings. There's a lot of um, sort of Psalm 23 today. I wasn't playing in, Ar uh, in Robinsy this morning, I was playing in Arundel and I was having to manage and conduct the choir as well as play the organ. So I wasn't, if I'm entirely honest, really focused on the readings because I was focused on getting the choir in order. So I, w was, was there a sort of a, a base, a, a, a theme around um, um, being led by the Saviour or Psalm 23 or what, what, what was it sort of um, why are these hymns being requested today? I'm sure someone learned will update me and let me know you're good at that. By the way, make some suggestions for some organ pieces tonight, would you? And whilst you're doing that, I'll play this hymn. So this, um, this picture that's going to appear on the screen right now is indeed Romsey Abbey, where I was just over an hour ago playing for Evensong, before rushing home to play virtual church.
gorgeous tune, isn't it? And as I mentioned a minute ago, when I said that I wasn't really paying attention to the readings because I was getting the um, looking after the choir. Of course, when if you have two readings in the uh, mass, they'll often be separated by a psalm. Um, and just as a few people have said, it was Psalm 23 in the Catholic churches. It was indeed Psalm 23. Uh, in the Catholic churches and cathedrals because we did Psalm 23 in Arundel today to a nice um, responsorial psalm sung beautifully by one of the, um, the, young, the young adults who, sang, who sings bass or tenor. Um, so, sang very nicely. So they're always sung as a solo down in Arundel and they can be very effective if they're done well, which generally they are sung well. I like responsorial psalms actually. Who, who here is a fan of psalms, and who here is a fan specifically of responsorial psalms? I like them. Yay. So, ben, Benjamin Yao is up next for another request. He's managed to get two in this week. Look at him. So this one uh, is called Safety, and it's, I was sinking deep in the sin far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry from the waters lifted me, now safe am I. Then there's a refrain or a chorus, love lifted me, even me, love lifted me, even me, that's sort of like taking it in turns between the boys and the girls. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. A tune is called Safety. And it's in, it's in your favourite time signature. <laughs> I don't know why you get so excited about certain things. I guess it's, it's fun. I like that. I like that you get excited about things that I never got excited about. But now, because now I do. I always think, if I'm playing something out in the real world, in a time signature, I always think, oh, uh, my virtual church crowd would like that, because it's in that, it's in 6-8. <laughs> anyway, so, this, is how, this will have a lilt, lilting feel. I know there's a danger of me playing these things too fast, because I get too excited, but let's hope that the tempo is correct on this occasion. Making no promises. So let's have a light registration. Uh, maybe eight, four, and two. Let's go from there.
And Gather, we have some new people in tonight. So it's very good to have you in with us. Uh, anyone who is new, you are, of course, very, very welcome. Um, so we have a couple of people. So Stephen Mills, I think, is new. And Fraxiness, you're new as well. If there's anyone else who's new, please do to say hello and we'll, we'll offer you a very warm welcome. Fact, I can... Anyone who's new tonight, let me just... Uh, I don't know whether this will work or not. But anyone who's new tonight gets a free, gets a free drink on me. <laughs> there you go. Anyone who's new gets a free drink. All you old timers, all you long time listeners, should I say, careful of my words. Um, you've had loads of drinks. <laughs> uh, Stephen Mills, I'm not new, he says. He's got a five next to his name. He's definitely not new. He's a long time listener in LTL. Robert Tavana says, I'm old. Harriet says, uh, I was new three years ago. Well, I think that's medium, medium time listener, Garrett, isn't it? <laughs> Simon Middleton says, hello from South Yorkshire. Oh, from Sheffield, are you, lad? Aye. What's weather like up there, son? I'm from North Derbyshire, so I'm allowed to talk like that. <laughs> uh, are you, is this your first time in with us, Simon? You're very welcome. Okay, let's go on to our next. Oh, that's it. That's it. Right, that's, those are all the sort of the pre-requested ones. Right, let's fire up now our top five. This is my favorite part of virtual church because it gets, it allows me to get to know you. Break down those barriers. Let me just find the first one in, uh, in advance. So today's um, top five comes in from Steve O'Neyans. You know what I'm like with pronunciation of names. And it really, I, if I find it so embarrassing, but Steve, if that's incorrect, I apologize. So anyway, Steve, is in a, Steve has emailed me all the way from Australia. So this email has come literally from across the other side of the world. Isn't that amazing? It arrived by a pigeon and it was a bit soggy, but put it in the air and covered and dried it out. So Steve, I'm going to hand over to Steve now. He's going to introduce his top five hymns. I've just remembered I, need, I do need to get a hymn book because I couldn't find one of the hymns online because it's in, it's in copyright, so I haven't got it on the um, iPad. Ooh, great, and my hymn book isn't there that I was going to use. Can't be far away, surely. It's not there, it's not there. Well, where is it? How can that be missing? It's the biggest hymn book that I've got. And it's not in any of my hymn book piles. Oh. Oh, help. Let me just have a look in here. I may need to make sure I've got... I should have done this. I, just, I assumed that hymn book would be... Oh, it's here. It's under my um, BIS organ guest book. Shall I show you? I'll show you that in a bit. People who play the organ have si will get to sign this book. Worth a lot of money one day, that. <laughs> anyway, so let's have a go. So Steve says... Apologies about that. Steve says, I studied theology at university, um, originally with the intention of taking orders, going into the cloth, I guess. But I encountered a great deal of religious and moral hypocrisy amongst my fellow ordinands, and it was enough to put me off institutionalised religion for many years. I spent 20 years or so married to a devout atheist, and my public persona was that of a lapsed Christian, although privately I never really lost my faith, nor my passion for organ and choral music. So the top five is all about my rebirth as a church-going Christian, which came about after my first marriage ended and I met um, a, 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 an Australian woman I got a job over in Australia in 2009. We, we married 
and now have seven children together. Uh, that is from previous marriages and two of their own. Uh, three of their own. I'm sorry. It is also partly about her faith, um, uh, her faith journey from, from a Protestant in the Uniting Church of Australia, which evolved from the Methodist Church, to a Roman Catholic who now holds holds the position of ministry coordinator in a Catholic school. So all of these hymns are linked um, rather than being five standalone hymns. And this is why we, I gave you that back, background, because one common denominator is that I've never heard of these hymns before I came to uh, Australia, despite none of them having a particularly Australian tradition. The fact that most of them are relatively modern is probably not a, a, a coincidence. All five of these hymns made such an impact on me that I immediately sought out recordings to download onto my phone and then listen to them over and over. Instant hits, as it were. A real curiosity is that the first encounter with all of them was not in an actual church, and all, bar one, are associated with us moving to a new place of worship. And he says, we have re relocated a number of times in the past 14 years. So, number five in Steve's list. So I should say Steve was actually um, born in England. I think he was, uh, uh, by the looks of it, he's based in Yorkshire. North Yorkshire in, um, no, not York Yorkshire, sorry, Kent. I, I was thinking, uh, see that you wrote Ripon, but you know, you, you've written Rochester. By the way, I have a Rochester um, recording coming your way very soon. Okay, so number five is I, the Lord of Sea and Sky. This one really marks the beginning of my family's journey towards Roman Catholicism. I first sung it at my wife's first call to service mass in the Cathedral of the Sacred Heart, Newcastle. And that's the real context of the hymn. God has called me and here I am.
Great tune. Thank you very much. It's Dan Shoot or Shut. And it was, um, it's called Here I Am, Lord. Very popular tune here in England. I'm sure it is around the world. That was number five in Steve's list. Steve, are you in with us or are you going to be watching back on Catch Up? So number four is the one I had to go to uh, my hymn book for because it's not in my, on my iPad and it's in copyright so I couldn't find it online. Um, the first word is not um, what I was thinking it was. Oh. Do, 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 do. Oh, Christ. That's really helpful, isn't it? You know when it, everyone knows the hymn by by its refrain and not the wretched uh, actual first first line. Here we go. Got it. Actually, Steve writes it in the um, on his email, so I should have just looked up there. I got it, I got it, I got it. Right, so here we go. Lord, the light of your love is shining. And as Steve says, I cannot believe I've never heard this before. Or I had never heard it before. A very powerful refrain, which even my rusty voice can belt out with gusto. I think that's the appeal of this hymn, a real blockbuster. I first sang this when we moved to the Hunter Valley in 2014 and started attending the Sunday evening family services held by the Scone Anglican Church in their parish hall. Now, in England, there'd be a big argument whether that be Scone or Scone. Which one are you? The only people in this country will get that. So this is Graham Kendrick. Obviously, it's Shine, Jesus, Shine. Let's engage that stop there. And those as well. They're the reeds. And let's put our arms in the air, because that's what people tend to do when they sing this, don't they?
So that was the ever popular hymn by uh, Graham Kendrick, Shine, Jesus Shine. Number four in Steve's list. <laughs> Are those the claps you mean, Barbara? Anyway, number three. I think this is in here. Let me just find it. Um, yeah, there they are. Right. So this is a very fuzzy copy. So I apologise if my... My terrible eyesight and the fuzziness on the screen get the better of me. So by the way, if you want to make some live requests, as some of you have been doing already, it would be really appreciated uh, spending these Sunday evenings with you. It is a wonderful thing. Uh, but if you, can, if you can actually support Virtual Church, um, and please, if you're able to, then please, that would be really, really appreciated. So, number three is... Um, holy words, long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with God's own heart. Oh, let the ancient words impart. It's called, unsurprisingly, ancient words. So he says, this is another one associated with the Roman Catholic Diocese of Newcastle in Maintland, in Australia. A great favourite of the late Bishop William Wright, a.k.a. Bishop Bill. A genuinely nice, humble and approachable man who sadly died under a little two years ago. I attended a synod session and the first time I sang it was at that session, led by Bill himself. It's a most inspirational hymn, emphasising both the divine origin and the spiritual benefits of the word of God. Okay, let's have a go. Just trying to get the, get the tempo. Please let me know if you know this hymn. I don't think I do at all. Thank you very much. Flawless bus, I just saw that. Um, we'll capture that and we'll play that for you shortly. Keep your requests coming in. It means, it means a lot and it's actually very helpful. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's get rid of some of this weight and let's build it up. Through a crescendo. Okay, let's go.
There we go, a gorgeous tune. I vaguely, vaguely knew that somehow. Maybe it was just a chord sequence I recognised, but somehow I knew that. How about you guys? Did you know that? Give me a thumbs up if you knew it. I can't say that I did. That was number three in Steve's list. We are looking at um, Steve O'Nions. Um, apologies if that is incorrect, Steve. Um, Steve's top list, top five list. Number, moving into number three now. Number three is Name of All Majesty, a Fathomless Mystery, King of the Ages by Angels Adored. Power and authority, splendor and dignity. Bow to his mystery, Jesus is Lord. And he says, the only time I have ever heard this song was at the first ever service I attended at Wellington uh, Uniting Church in 2013. It was sung as a baritone solo by the church organist's son. <laughs> uh, get all the family involved. What a great hymn, I thought. Such was the impact that I just had to go online to find the music and a recording. It really is one of my favourites, even though it never seems to be performed anywhere. Well, you say that, but let's perform it here on YouTube. As Roger has just said, call it U, as in the letter YouTube. Steve, are you in? He must be in. Is he in? I'm not really able to... Yes, you are, Steve! Sorry, I missed you. I missed you. There you are. Good to see you, Steve. I, I missed you. I'm not paying much a, a close attention to the chat because I'm obviously playing. Great to have you with us. So this is number two. It's a name of all majesty. Uh, let's let's go for some reeds. This one's a bit of a more uplifting, magisterial hymn, isn't it? So. Whilst, I, whilst I'm playing this, could you do me a favour and give me your, do the usual BIS tradition, which we started, and do this for me. I'll start the ball rolling. Let's see who's in tonight. I love looking back through the chat to see who's in. How many corners of the world are we reaching out to tonight at this moment in time? It's fascinating to see. You wait.
What are they? <laughs> Looks like there were quite a few people in, including, in, including uh, Forza Ferrari. <laughs> oh, you're in Shropshire. I thought you were going to say you were in um, exotic Italy <laughs> with a name like that. We've got people from all over the place, so we name some. So, Southern England, uh, Cambridge, New York, Watford, uh, Berkshire, um, Hiawatha, how do you say that, in the USA, in Kansas, Rochester in the uh, USA, Belfast, um, Indianapolis, Somerset, New Zealand, oh gosh, a lot, we're here all day, uh, Netherlands, uh, County Cork in Ireland, Tennessee, Lancashire, Illinois, ah, Florida, Australia, Somerset, um, Ireland again, Barbados, Switzerland even, Channel Islands, Northamptonshire, Great Yarmouth, Essex, Chester, Surrey, Leicestershire, um, Massachusetts, Canada, Rotherham, all over the place. It's ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. Um, Houston, France, bonjour. Alabama, Atlanta, oh, Cornwall, Germany. Oh, I can't, I can't believe you're all watching me. London, <laughs> can't believe Austria. What? My mind is blown. My mind is blown. I'm actually broadcasting to people in all of those places. That is a, that is amazing, isn't it? That is such an amazing thing. I can't believe how how far reaching we are. Oh, it makes me want, makes me nervous. All of a sudden, Uganda. Oh man, Ron. Um, where's that? Kigali in Rwanda. The Canaries. Dorset, Derbyshire. That's just ridiculous. That is ridiculous. It's so good to have you all. It's so good to have you all with me. It really is. Thank you so much for joining in the fun tonight. If you are enjoying it, just please click the like, but the like button on the video. It's all you need to do, and it just really helps the video perform well. YouTube will see all of those likes, think it's a good video, and think to itself, okay, yeah, I'll I'll promote this video because it's obviously uh, it has been enjoyed by a lot of people. Therefore, other people might enjoy it as well, so I'll promote it. So could you just click the like button? That's all I ask of you. And I just need to calm down a little bit and play Steve's number one. So Steve says, when peace like a river. <laughs> That's a good one. This is a good hymn, but I was here in BIS. So this has now become my all time favorite hymn. First song again at an evening family service in a church hall. Um, St. Peter's Anglican Church in East Maitland. Is it Maitland? Is that how you say that? And again, I just had to go online to get a recording immediately. The backstory to this hymn is so sad and yet so uplifting, as we've spoken about many times before. So we don't need to go on about it again today. Basically, if you want to look at the story of this, why this was written, it's, on, it's online. There is a good reason why the author um, wrote these words, um, Horatio Spafford. The last verse with the words, the trump shall resound and the Lord shall descend, demands the loudest stops on the organ. It sends chills down my spine. So this is number one in Steve's list and I think this is a really fantastic top five as they all are, of course. So, as you know, what I like to do with this one is start oh so quietly. And then, as Steve has mentioned in the final verse with the trump shall resound and the Lord shall descend. Even so, it is well with my soul. And then such a poignant and sad and um, harrowing story suddenly has a positive feeling about it. 
if you can get through that and find the positive, then it is well with my soul, isn't it? If you want to see me and hear me play this on a pipe organ, a large pipe organ, I played it in Llandaff Cathedral, which is um, Wales's largest pipe organ. Um, and I did the crescendo, I started very quietly, worked it all the way up to the final verse where it was pretty much full organ with the tubers and all sorts. So if you want to check that out, check out the um, Llandaff uh, recording. I think on the thumbnail it says... Um, this is paradise or something like that. It was put on a few months ago. I'm wearing something like this on the thumbnail if you want to find it. Okay, enough waffle, more playing.
That was um, when peace, like a river, on full organ. <laughs> As we say a minute ago, that hymn needs to end on full organ because of the positive ending of the words. If you read the words, understand the words, it's a happy ending. Thank you very much, Jerry, for your 20. Uh, we've had a few requests as well. Thank you very much, Bill Rayty, for your five channel membership uh, gifts. So we've got five new channel members, courtesy of Bill. That's very kind. Thank you very much. And anyone else who has donated but I have missed. Thank you very much. It really is appreciated. There it goes. Bang. Oh, no. We've got a Nala and a BIS ice cube falling out. Oh, no. Maybe somebody will replace them. Um, okay, so thank you very much in all seriousness now to Steve. Thank you very much. Um, can we all give Steve a big hand for such a wonderful um, top five? I haven't got, um, I haven't got a BIS hand, special hand clap emoji, but let's just pop in some of these like that. Click, 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 click. And if you can all give uh, Steve a hand as well, that'd be great. So if you want to send in your top five, just like Steve has done, really, really um, welcomed because uh, it's nice to actually get to know one of you. So it doesn't, doesn't need to be, as I keep saying, it doesn't need to be your all time top five. It can just be top five hymns um, associated or paraphrased on Psalm 23, because we've had a few of those today. Um, it can be your top five hymns um, with words written by George Herbert. Anything, it can be just uh, on, a, on, a, on a theme. I do need some more top five hymns, please. So in all seriousness, guys, if you can, please do send me some top fives in because I'm actually starting to um, get through them all now. So I look forward to receiving some of those this week. Otherwise, I'll be chasing some of you individual long time listeners uh, and some of your heritage the you heritage listeners as well who go back years and years and years to the days I think um, in 2020 okay so oh we've had a few more requests uh, donations there Ian thank you very much I hope to see you in a couple of weeks back up north and Glenn as well Glenn Snyder thank you very much and keep doing what you're doing That's, I will thank you as long as I have an audience I will keep doing what I'm doing <laughs> no doubt about it Okie dokie. Right, let's get into the live request. Let's see what I need to play tonight. Let me look over onto this side of the screen, which is where I can see uh, Josh wearing his hoodie. <laughs> Good on you, Josh. Um, uh, right, so. Okay, Ancient and Modern, number 799. This is a request. Let me get up. Number 700, so there's going to be a little bit of, there are quite a few breaks here because I'm going to have to keep getting up to get the hymn books. 799, I think, in this hymn book. So, who was it who requested this one? Eileen Kremlin, who sent in 10 euros for, we again, the Lord's My Shepherd. I think this is the world... BIS record for the amount of hymns we've had in one VC on Psalm 23. Um, but to a different tune, this is another tune. Um, the Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want, you know what the words are. By now, the tune, this time, is Brother James's Air, of course. Beautiful tune this is. This is a very lyrical tune, so let's just not get overly excited by this. Thank you very much, Barry. The, lo <laughs> the Lord's my shepherd. What? Are you joking? The Lord's my shepherd. The one I'm just about to play, I hope. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Psalm 23 today, isn't it?
think we've had all of the hymns, haven't we, now tonight for uh, The Lord's My Shepherd. We've had Crimmond, sorry, St. Columbia, St. St. Columba, um, Dominus Regit May, um, Brother James is there. We have had Crimmond as well, of course. <laughs> what are the hymns? What are the tunes are there? Anyway, let's, let's go on. Thank you very much, Eileen, for that. I hope that was okay. <laughs> Bill is sending another one through. I can't believe it. Oh, crikey. Okay. I missed a trick. I should have called this video The Lord is My Shepherd, shouldn't I? I will. In fact, I might update the, the, um, the thumbnail to The Lord's My Shepherd. Thank you very much, Bill. Let me give you a heart. Okay, so... Um, oh, some people have been asking questions about the Christmas online organ recital. Well, of course, um, I put on a poster just a couple of weeks, no, probably a week ago, actually, um, advertising that we're going to do an international online organ recital. We've done um, this sort of thing before. This is, no, this is nothing new from BIS. It was new when we did it first, of course, because it was the first time it's ever been done, but we've done it a few times now. We're going to do, this next time, the biggest one evs. So I'm hoping to get over a hundred participants of people playing either Christmas music or something uplifting and jolly, something Christmassy, something in a major key. I'm aiming for a hundred people. So I haven't, I've had a lot of people, I've had, I think I've, I've had nearly 50 people already say yes, please, in, in a week. So if I keep advertising, I think we'll get well over 100 people. Um, but I haven't replied, okay? There's a lot of you to reply to. So if you've sent me a, an email, it has to be on email. I put a poster on and there's an email address at the bottom of that poster. It has to be sent to that email because there's a lot going on. There were lots of strings on the BIS bow, so I'm trying to keep it organised. If it doesn't go to that email, there's a chance it will get lost. I will reply to you all this week with more information. Okay, so whilst you're digesting all of that, I'm going to go into another hymn. Oh, so Eleanor, G Eleanor Jean has asked me and sponsored me to play one of my favourite hymns. Oh, I don't know. You give me twenty dollars to play my favourite hymn. I have the best job in the world. Right. So let me find it. This is the church's one foundation. to the tune Aurelia. In fact, let's go for a little bit of raw thorn. I like a bit of raw thorn in this one. This is one of his, one, this is one of his best. This is a real, a real classy, classy um, reharm. So words by Samuel Stone and music by Samuel Wesley, uh, Samuel Wesley. The church's one foundation is Jesus Christ, her Lord. One of the great hymns, in my opinion. Fact, I think. Fact. It's definitely fact. One of the greatest. How can anyone disagree? You'll all agree once you've heard this. Let me tell you. Enjoy.
Oh yes, a little bit of Noel there. Can't beat a bit of Noel Ross Thorn. It's actually mostly him, but yeah, sometimes I like to throw in my own stuff as well. Okay, so we need to go into Eternal Father Strong to save. This is um, called Melita, the tune. And this is a, a request from Shane Simpson on the anniversary of his father's death. Uh, Shane's father was a US Navy veteran um, and he requested this uh, him actually a couple of weeks ago. So Shane Simpson, I think, is uh, known in the chat as Archbishop. Um, so, Eternal Father, strong to save.
great hymn, isn't it? Very powerful. And it is, of course, associated to all navies, I think, around the world. Not just the American one. Um, oh, hear us when we cry to thee for those in peril on the sea. And then the final verse is, Thus evermore shall rise to thee glad praise from air and land and sea. So you have the tri-service there. The air, the navy, the, the, the RAF with the moustache. The land, the squaddies, skinheads and tattoos. And the sea, the well-dressed, well-spoken naval personnel. So, that's a great hymn. Fabulous hymn. Flawless Bus 95. And that, that name always tickles me. Because um, I don't know any bus that's flawless. I've been on many buses. I would like to hear, I heard the voice of Jesus say to the tune of Vox Delecti. Uh, isn't, I've got it on the iPad, actually. Um, Josh, this is a miracle. It's obviously been requested already to this tune. So this, this tune Vox Delecti to these words, I heard the voice of Jesus say, starts in F minor, and then actually goes into F major towards the end, which is very exciting. This is um, by John Dykes. I have played this because it's in the iPad, but I can't remember. I wouldn't be able to hum it to you if you asked me to hum it. Oh, I would love to be able to hear you guys now, like, hear you humming along. You know when, like, so you, you, well, you've heard me. If, I, if I'm playing, I leave the microphone on, sometimes I mumble or sing along or whatever. Um, some people, you know, when they've left the microphone on and they think they're in their own privacy, they'll just say sounds, make sounds and hum along. I wish I could he hear all of you. I could just sort of switch into each and every one of you just to listen to you humming along or singing along. <laughs> that would be fun. Right, so I heard the voice of Jesus say, as requested by Flawless Bus, who was very kind to send me five pounds. So thank you very much, Flawless. I'm really out of inspiration for camera angles. I've got a lot of them, but I feel like I use them all the time.
Well, thank you very much, uh, Richard. Uh, Richard Fitzgerald, who says, um, thank you, Richard. Work commitments mean I now listen on a Monday night due to daylight saving commencing here in Australia. I hope everyone is well. Well, Richard, it's very good to have you from uh, the other side of the world. Um, and I do know that a lot of people do watch on catch up because sometimes we'll finish a virtual church and um, maybe 1700 people have watched by the time I click go um, stop end stream. But then over a couple of days, it's often gone up to three or 4,000 views. So I, I do know a lot of people watch that work or I know some people watching the gym, which is where I'll be tomorrow, by the way. Um, and this is actually just makes me wonder, where do you listen to virtual church? I know you're, you guys are watching live now. But that's interesting, actually. So this is open to everybody. OK, so even those people who are watching live now, hello, where are you? What are you doing right now? If it's something that we don't need to know, just sort of butter it up a little bit. Uh, and if you're watching back, back on catch up, you know, where are you? Are you at work? Are you in the office? Are you in the gym? Are you on the toilet? <laughs> I'll be in the gym tomorrow morning. So think of me as I'm sweating and working very hard, trying to get back into shape, as we discussed, a different shape. Okay, so, oh good, we've had some requests for volunteers. Thank you very much. Paul Dyer has requested a hymn. Oh, Jesus, I have promised to the tune um, Hatherop. Thanks, Josh, for giving me the hymn number. 503 in here. Is it um, Hatherop Castle? Well, I don't know this tune at all. How does this one, how does this one work, then? Uh. Um, um. What's this? Verses one to four, verses five. Uh, is this? Uh, uh, um, last time, so what's that? It's time. Repeat. Stand, I'll be a repeat. And if thou wilt be my guide, friend and heaven to you, my dear friend. And, and then in heaven receive me. I think it just repeats, isn't it? Okay, right, so, um, oh Jesus, I have promised, I was just trying to work out, I've never played this one before in my life, I can't wait to look back to see where, where you are, and what you're doing right now. <laughs> well, just, uh, Paul has just said, I almost always watch VC during the live stream, so thank you for watching live, Paul, whilst playing solitaire <laughs> card games on a PC. That's fair enough, that's fair enough. Okay, this is, um, Music to help concentrate the soul.
love it. Absolutely love it. I'm just looking back at where you are, what you're doing. <laughs> Story Angel says, I haven't heard this tune in years. We used to have an organist who would really jazz it up. Great fun. Barbara Clark says, our dinner is in the oven. Hey, don't forget that. What are you having tonight, Barbara? Joseph Atkinson is watching live on my laptop. Keith Bolton says, watching live in my lounge. Uh, Matt Leach, I watch live and also backtrack at my desk at home, where I can totally concentrate. Justina says, I'm on my bed watching and enjoying the sounds. <laughs> How wonderful that we are all over the world. Just doing different things but yeah enjoying hymns together so who was that that was for paul thank you very much paul dyer for requesting that tune which by all accounts brought back a lot of memories for um, people so i think i've probably received an email from bill there it is from bill arati another another hymn tune too I think this, this is a, have to be the final one tonight because this is getting over over the top now this is bordering on ridiculous <laughs> um, the Lord is my shepherd again um, a, different, different, a different translation here the Lord is my shepherd no want shall I know I feed in green pastures safe folded I rest he leadeth my soul where the still waters flow. That's, restores me when wandering, not waffling. So I was I saw waffling for some reason. Redeems when oppressed. Restores me when wandering. Redeems when oppressed. Now this tune is by Thomas um, Koschat or Koschat who's 1845 to 1947, and it is, of course, based on Psalm 23. The tune is called, I don't know, it doesn't say what the tune is called, but it has been requested and sent to me by Bill Ratey, and I think possibly um, requested by a few people. Yes, waffling. I almost said waffling. Restores me when waffling, redeems when oppressed. Restores me when waffling, redeems when oppressed that's a very t a relevant thing to be have to have been redeemed by for on here on bis isn't it waffle waffle more waffle but that's why you come that's why you keep coming back for the waffle <laughs> i'm sure
and Margaret Kirk. This is what I like to see. This is one of my favourite comments. Haven't heard this tune for so many years. I used to sing it as, an al uh, as a lady trio, singing along with my part. That's what I like to see. People who haven't heard something for many years, and it just triggers a memory. And that's the best thing for me. Right, so, I think we'll just have one final, one final little ditty. Yes, we have, I have done this before, this um, Rigaudon by Campra. I have done it before. I did it a long time ago, in 2020, I think it was. Back in the days of when it was all, all everything was locked down. Um, and I was doing all of my recitals by request. Uh, every week, every Saturday, which is what really built up the channel. So a weekly uh, live recital and then a weekly live virtual church. Gosh, it was hard work. But we all had more time on our hands. So this has been requested by... Who requested this? Did you put it in the email, Josh? No. Uh, Wayne Jenkins. Wayne, are you still with us? Um because this is your request, and then I'll... Oh, there's a gorgeous... Who's requested? Somebody, some um, listener, has requested the, um, the Largo from Handel's Zeus. We'll have that. That's beautiful, isn't it? In fact, let's have that first. Um, Caroline, are you free, or have you got a, um, a baby on your lap? Put him. She has a baby on her lap. Okay. Um, darn it. Um, oh, shoot. Right. I'll just have to run upstairs. Bear with me a second and I'll get the piece for you to play. Sorry about this. I'm back. I have the music. Let me just clip this back on. Let's go in with some handle first, <clears throat> and then we'll end on a big positive note. So, who, who requested um, handle? Gorgeous. So, we'll have this, and then we'll go into the big, um, big piece by Campra, which is rather fun. So, what should we have for this? Here, what is a beautiful stop? The oboe on the swell. That works nicely. Let's do this. Okay, so the Largo from Sirs first, and then we'll go into something else.
isn't that gorgeous? Which then takes us into a rather uplifting ending to today's virtual church, which has been really rather uplifting, I should say. It's, uh, we had some really wonderful hymns, some wonderful company. I've had a good number of you watching, so thank you for your company. Um, and now we're going to have um, something... I don't, I don't know much about this at all, about its context. I think it's from an opera or something. But this is called Rigaudon. Rigaudon. And it's from, it's from Idomini, Idomini, uh, 1712, by Andre Campra. And hopefully by that sound, as the thud, the clump, you'll have guessed. And this is a rather uplifting, boisterous sort of piece. I do remember, remember playing this years ago, literally years ago. Three years, over three years ago I played it. I have to find it on, on one of the, um, one of those live recitals I did, it's on there somewhere. So just this one doesn't want to be too fast, I don't think, does it? Let's see what happens then. So who, who was it who requested this, please? Okay, let's go. A very uplifting piece, I think, um, but actually it brings up lots of personal connotations. As Thomas has just said, it's a very moving piece to him as it was played as a prelude at my wedding in 1982, which is obviously a very happy time. But then Thomas lost his wife in 2004 
So it brings back memories of that. Hopefully it brings back happy mem memories though, Thomas. Frosty Flake says, thank you. John F says, good job. Marty M says, bravo. Well, thank you very much to each and every one of you. Thank you very much for your company, for your support, your financial support. I'm just naming some names here on the screen. And Richard Fitzgerald, Bill Arati, Barry Richardson, Ian Garden, Glenn Snyder, Jerry Martin, Paul Dyer, PGM Music, Daniel Kubaki, Flawless Bus, Eileen, uh, Andrew Luce, Eleanor, Wayne Jenkins, Jerry Hall, Roger Kingston. And there are probably more of you. Thank you very much for your support. Um, what a wonderful thing, Virtual Churches. What a wonderful community that we have. If anybody is in the Blackburn area, in Lancashire, on the, let me on the uh, calendar. I think it's Wednesday the 8th. Wednesday the 8th. If you're around Blackburn in that area on Wednesday the 8th, I'm giving a recital there. Come and say hello. Please do come and introduce yourselves. It'd be great to meet you. Last time I was up there, I had a really great time. Um, and I very much look forward to going back up there in a couple of weeks to give the recital myself, as Ian Gordon has just said in the chat. It's 12.15 p.m. on that wonderful organ in Blackburn Cathedral. No doubt we'll go out for lunch afterwards. And... So, I've got this um, book here, by the way, which is a very special beautiful um, real leather um, uh, guest book for people who've, who've played the organ so we've got Martin Baker here oh, all of the um, candidates from the um, organ festival Francesca Massey Tim Rivald Colin Walsh Tom Bell and others in there I've only had that for a few months so I need to go and collar everyone who's played the organ say, Oi, sign my book for me. And it's a wonderful thing. If you come, ever come round to BIS, you can have a look at it. But you'll have to wear gloves. <laughs> okay, everyone, you take care. Uh, I'll see you next week, if not before. I'll maybe put on um, a video online this week. I'm going to be editing um, the next BIS organ recital which is um, a recital recorded um, in Black uh, in uh, Rochester Cathedral uh, by Jeremy Lloyd. I'm going to be putting that online very soon. So that's the next BIS Cathedral organ to appear. And after that, I'm heading down to a very large cathedral um, somewhere in England. More to be announced soon, so look out for that. But however, Rochester is up next, and hopefully get that to you soon. I'll advertise it in the usual sort of way. Thomas Afaro says, stick well, mate. You too. <laughs> and I'll see, you, um, I'll see you all next time. Take care, cheerio, and stay safe. Goodbye. <laughs>